Dans la culture et l'imaginaire des hommes, les volcans provoquent catastrophes et désolation. Ici, dans l'île de Hawaï, il y a une trentaine d'années, cette coulée de lave a englouti un village entier. Pourtant, les volcans sont aussi une source de vie. Ce sont eux qui ont donné à la planète Terre sa toute première atmosphère il y a plus de 4 milliards d'années. Aujourd'hui, nous allons découvrir que l'île de Hawaï, perdue dans l'océan Pacifique, est un belvédère idéal pour étudier comment l'atmosphère de la Terre réagit à l'activité volcanique, mais aussi humaine. The lava going in the ocean has been doing its off and on since 1987. And so over 99% of the lava that flows in the ocean actually has to build up a foundation underwater on that steep cliff just to uh, support a little narrow strip of land that's forming on, on the edge of the island. So the island is growing day after day. It's a real long process to build up the island because when you go offshore, the seafloor is almost a vertical cliff underwater. But yes, what you're looking at is the newest land on Earth.
dans ce paysage, nous sommes entourés de volcans, mais est-ce qu'on peut dire que Big Island est un gigantesque volcan? More than 99.999999% of the material is all volcanic. Even if it's dust or if it's fine-grained particles that look like sand, to lava flows, to the cones, it's all pretty much origin from volcanoes. The Big Island and the Hawaiian Islands themselves are built over what we call a hot spot. So the hot spot is stationary. And you can imagine that molten material is rising up from deep within the Earth. And the plate on the exterior of the Earth is moving over this molten hot spot and is moving in a roughly 10 centimeters a year in a northwesterly direction. And as the plate moves in a northwesterly direction, it creates islands. So essentially, if we start on the other end of the island chain from here is Kauai. And Kauai is about four and a half million years old. And then you go to Oahu and Maui, and each one of those get older until you come to the youngest island, Hawaii. So the plate is in constant motion, and as the volcanoes move, on the, they reside on the plate and move with the plate, eventually the activity ceases. So for example, we have Mauna Kea, which is considered dormant, and then three active volcanoes. Hualalai would be on the back edge of the hot spot. Kilauea and Mauna Loa are closer to the center of the hot spot. And in fact, there's a new volcano offshore on the southeastern part of the island, which is on the leading edge of the hotspot called Loihi. Est-ce que ça veut dire que dans les mois ou dans les années qui viennent, il y a une nouvelle île qui va émerger de l'océan? Well, that new island, Loihi, is about one kilometer below sea level. And it's unlikely that volcano will rise above the sea until maybe 100,000 years from now. Ça, je reconnais, hein, Jeffrey, la planète Mars. On reconnaît le plateau d'Elysium avec ses volcans géants, Olympus Mons, Arcia Mons, Pavonis Mons. Le volcanisme, c'est un phénomène universel. Yes, volcanoes are things we see on all the terrestrial planets. It's very common. Planets, when they formed, they were formed hot by the accretion process, and then radioactive elements inside them further heated their interiors, which caused the rocks to melt, which caused them to become buoyant, and they rose up to the surface to create volcanoes. It's just a very common process. It's a way uh, planets and moons cool by give it, getting out their hot rocks and, and depositing them on the surface. You get hot, you sweat, it comes out on the surface of your skin, it cools you off. And that's what's happening as a process on Mars and all the other terrestrial planets. Il y a quand même une grande différence quand on regarde ces volcans, ils sont beaucoup plus grands que les volcans de la Terre. Yeah. Olympus Mons, it's huge. It's twice as large as Mauna Kea, which you saw earlier. And the fact that we don't, or that Mars doesn't have plate tectonics has allowed that volcano to build up larger and larger. With plate tectonics, like we have here on Earth, the plate moves and every eruption causes a new island. 
On Mars, the plates don't move, so it just creates a very large volcano, about the size of Spain, France, or Germany, and much higher. Sur Mars, pas de volcan actif. Sur Vénus, vous savez pas. Alors, est-ce qu'il y a un endroit dans le système solaire où on a des volcans en activité aujourd'hui, à part sur la Terre You want volcanism? Let's go to Io. It is so volcanically active, it's more volcanically active than our Earth. Continually erupt erupting volcanoes of sulfur, sulfur dioxide, and even rocky stuff like we have here on Earth. It can shoot plumes that are like umbrellas many hundreds of kilometers uh, into off the surface, creating these very you know, round orange uh, orbs where the deposits end up lying. So our planet is hot because of radioactivity uh, creating heat, which melts the rocks. Io is a different story. It's only the size of our moon, which our moon cooled off at least a billion years ago, maybe even longer, and no longer has volcanic activity. What keeps Io so active is the tidal, tidal interactions between Jupiter and the other Galilean si satellites. It pushes and pulls, and that friction creates heat. And that heat melts the interior of Io, causing these wonderful eruptions. Mm -hmm.